Indeed, you are the Lord, your name be glorified in our lives. Indeed, you reign in the affairs of men. Lord, this morning, be praised where our lives, families, relations, careers of God are concerned. We thank you for this bright day. We thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for your grace that is upon us this morning. We thank you for your grace, O God, that you have bestowed on us. We thank you for your strength that will enable us to go throughout the day and be able to accomplish everything, O God, that we need to do throughout this day. Your grace, we acknowledge, is sufficient unto us. Your strength, we acknowledge, will keep us through this day. Your mighty hand, O God, we acknowledge, will carry us and our families, O God, relations, brethren, far and near, O God, throughout this day. Father, you are our stay. Father, we say you are our buckler. Father, we say you are our deliverer. And above all, your presence will stay with us even throughout this time of devotion and throughout the day. The name be praised now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning to you, brethren. Trusting that our night was good. Even if we had a bad night, the Lord will still keep us through. The day will end well. The day will end well. The Lord will be with us. He will show us His kindness. He will show us His kindness. There is this scripture that all consistently in Matthew chapter 7. It says, We that are evil, we know how to give good gifts. We that are evil, we know how to give good gifts unto our children. That whatsoever our children will ask us, we are willing and ready to do it unto them. How much more our Father in heaven. So be rest assured that our Father in heaven will keep us through this day. Be rest assured that his hands will be so mighty upon us this day as we go through the day. Let us continually hold on to him. Our God is faithful. Our God is faithful. Let us hold on to him. This morning, I would want to share with us from the book of Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. Those who know that very chapter very well we realize that Jesus spoke to his disciples or to the crowd in parable. He talked about the seed. He referred to the seed as the word of God. He referred to the seed as the word of God. He illustrated the word of God in various forms where the word of God is sown and the enemy, um, his determination or purpose is to make sure that the word does not bear fruit. The word does not bear fruit. And he, he, he said, he illustrated it in various forms, but I will take probably the latter part of his parables onto his disciples or what he said to his disciples after he's finished with the parables. So Mark chapter 4 from 35 to somewhere 41. It's a lot of scriptures we will read. But lately what I do is that when I'm reading the New Testament, I, I, I focus on the red letters. I focus on the red letters. The red letters simply tells us the things that Jesus actually said compared with the events and the issues that took place in the midst of, of the things that Jesus said. So from... 35, reading from the King James Version, and, and, and I compared with the New Living Translation. You know, some of the Bibles, 
they give you title. Some of the Bible gives you title on on the with the NIV. Um, this is the title they give. Say so Jesus comes the stones. Jesus come the comes the storm. But the King James version will say a storm on the leak. A storm on the leak. So whoever that is writing decides what he wants to put there. So I read. And the same day, when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over to the other side. Let us pass over to the other side. That is what Jesus said. That is a red letter. And when they had set away, sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the wave beat into the ship, so that it was now full. Verse 38, And he was in the hidden part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him, and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. Another red letter, this is what he said. He said, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? Another red letter. This is what Jesus said. Why are you so fearful? Let's say this morning the Lord is speaking to you or speaking to Caleb. This morning, Caleb, why are you fearful? What is making you afraid? What is making you afraid? How is it that ye have no faith? Caleb, why is it that you do not have faith in me? Caleb, why is it that you do not believe the things I have said? And they feared a sin and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obeys his voice? Hallelujah. What manner of man is this, that creation hears him? What manner of man is this, that when he speaks, it is settled. What manner of man is this that we call our Father in heaven, that his word carries so much authority, so much power to ensure that his purpose, his counsel, his will is done in our life? What manner of man is this? What manner of man is this? Brethren, to encourage us this morning. When the law speaks, nothing stops his word. What the Lord has declared where your life is concerned, be rest assured that nothing stops his word. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, the Bible says the word of God is very effective. Even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. The word of God is that effective. These people who have seen Jesus Christ, they deal with Jesus Christ this morning. Maybe you know the scripture. You've read it over. Maybe yesterday you read it. Maybe it is done. It was something that was on your mind. But my, my concern is that his word, that he has spoken to us, how dear do we hold it? How dear do we allow it to minister unto us until it brings us to the place that he, the Lord, has ordained us to be? At the end of this journey, what manner of man is this? The sea obeys him. The wind obeys him. The situation we found ourselves in that we were losing faith. There is calmness. There is calmness. There is so much to learn from this, this very chapter, brethren. His first statement was that after the day's work, let us get to the other side of 
the river or of the lake. Let us. I don't know what you're going through. But what has the Lord said to you? Since you got to know him. Can you hold on to that word? And be like Esther who will say, if I perish, I perish. I will still hold on to what God's word says about me. Brethren, it is important. Otherwise, we will lose faith. Otherwise, we will fear. Otherwise, the challenges, day-to-day challenges that comes our way will throw our faith off. Otherwise, we will fall into a routine. We will just come to church because we want to come. We will be on devotion because we just want to be there. Because if I don't, oh, Pastor Caleb will ask me, why wasn't I on devotion? Don't just represent. But know that his word that he's spoken unto us carries so much authority that even creation must obey it. What he said to us, to us as his children, if it is we getting to the other side, brethren, we will get there safely. Though the storm will range against us. Though the challenges will come, they will come in its forms, in its varieties. You might think, oh, this has ended. Now another door opens and you are wondering, when would that see? when would this end? When he says, let's get to the other side, it means let's get to the other side. Verse 36. And when they are sent away the multitude and took him, even as he was in the ship, the most important thing is that I must know that the Lord is with me in the situation. He says, I will be with you until the uttermost part of the world. I will be with you. That is his word unto us, the church. The challenges ranging, I will be with you. You don't know where to turn to, I will be with you. You don't know what it will take to do the next thing ahead of you, I will be with you. And brethren, be rest assured, if he is with us, the Bible says he is the one that maketh way where there seem to be no way. He was with them. He that said, let's get to the other side, they didn't abandon them, but he was in the ship with them. Brethren, this year, the Lord is with us, and the shout of the king is with his servants. His presence will be with us at all times. His voice will be with us at all times. His word he's spoken about you, about me, will surely will stand as we hold on to him. Let us go to the other side. Because at the other side, his glory is revealed. Because at the other side, his mind is seen. Because at the other side, we will have testimonies to say unto his glory. But as they set forth, the Bible said there was a great storm of wind. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that every great storm of wind, Jesus taught us how to handle it. The Bible says he rose and repeated the way. That this morning, as you go through the day, every raging storm against you, it could be described as a great storm. You must rise up and say, I repeat you in Jesus' name. Every raging storm that wants to shipwreck your faith, you want to stand this day and say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare you, rebuke in Jesus' name. The Bible says when they woke him up, he arose. He didn't keep quiet. He spoke to the stormy wind. Don't keep quiet, my dear sister, my dear brother. 
Don't keep quiet. Sometimes it seems I have prayed for such a long time, but I encourage you this morning. Do not keep quiet. Open your mouth and speak to the storm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, declare unto the storm. Declare unto the storm. He rebuked the storm. And the Bible says, He said unto the sea. <laughs> ha! If you were among them, how would you imagine? He's speaking to the sea. Speak to the situation this morning as you go through the day. Speak into your marriage this morning as you go through the day. Speak where your career is concerned as you go through the day. Speak in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You might not know where your daily bread will come from. You might not know what will happen the next hour. But speak into this, unto the situation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Speak unto the situation. Speak unto yourself. The Bible says, say to the righteous, it shall be well with you. I say unto myself, it shall be well with me. I say unto myself, that which God has said about me, will surely will come to pass in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say unto myself, Kayande, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I am established in the counsel and in the purposes of the Lord. His word will never, never, and never, and never will fail. For the Lord our God, he changed not, Kayande. The same God that spoke to the sea, Kayate. He said, I have given you power over all the powers of the enemy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, calm the situation by speaking to it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus never kept quiet. He rose up, rebuked the sea. He spoke calmness. He said, peace be still, that you will speak peace, that you will bring to bear peace. Where your life is concerned, where your career is concerned, declare unto yourself in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the peace of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bring to bear his peace into this nation. We bring to bear his peace into our marriages. We bring to bear his peace into careers, into ministries. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every heart, every member of our congregation, uh, or who call family members uh, whose peace have been taken from them uh, because of the storm, because of the challenges, uh, we bring to bear, we declare peace be still in our homes. Peace be still in this nation. Peace be still in the church. Peace be still in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every troubled heart receive the peace of the Lord. Receive the joy of the Lord. Receive the grace of the Lord. Receive the might of the Lord. Receive the counsel of the Lord. Receive the strength of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bring peace to bear where our lives are concerned. Peace be still. Peace be still. He spoke calmness into the situation. He spoke calmness. Kayande. He spoke calmness. He spoke calmness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, the wind ceased. And there was great calm. May there be great calm where our lives are concerned. May there be great calm where our businesses, our careers, our ministries that the Lord has called us into are concerned. May there be great calm in your office. May there be great calm where your life is concerned. May there be great calm where your ministry is concerned. May there be great calm where your children are concerned. May there be great calm in this nation, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May there be great calm in Jesus' name. Brethren, there was a great storm of wind. But at the same time, in the unseen, there was also great calm that the Lord had prepared to bring it to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be great calm, parity, long the big cattle, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be great calm, parunebikate, in your tabernacle, may there be great calm in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Where there was great storm. Oh, there was great calm as 
well. May they be great calm where your life is concerned. But his question was that, why are you fearful? Why are you fearful? Lord, we lay it under your feet this morning. Why are you fearful? Why are you fearful? Lord, we say, help us. In the midst of the challenges, help us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive help for our lives. We receive help for our families. We receive help for your church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shut the door to fear and we hold on unto your word. Why are you fearful? Why are you fearful? Do you not have faith? Jesus, stir up our faith as we go through the day. Stir up our faith, Lord, even as we hear your word. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we go through the day, stay up our faith, Lord. Stay up our faith, Lord. And may we not only have faith, O oh God, within us, may we speak and believe. May we hold on unto your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for this awesome day. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your outstretched hand, Lord. Thank you for your provision. We will go through this day. And Father, end the day on a good note. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will go through the day knowing that your presence of God is with us in every step of the way. We will go through the day and that which we ought to do, Father, O oh God, she will grant us speed. She will advance our course in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. She will advance our course and it will cause us, O oh God, to end well. Brethren, at the end of the day, the storm was nowhere to be found. They landed safely. Their lives were not destroyed because the Lord has spoken. May that be our story as we go through the day. May that be our story as the storm ranges. May there be calmness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That we will learn safely. That our lives will end in to his honor. Our lives will be to his glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stay blessed. The Lord be with you. The presence of the Lord be with you. The presence of the Lord be with you. And remember, speak and rebuke the storm. Don't keep quiet. Stand as a child. Address the situation. Address and speak to it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And may the Lord be glorified where our lives are concerned. Stay blessed. Enjoy this beautiful day. And have a fruitful day. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you for being a part of the devotion this morning. God willing, tomorrow we will meet again. Bye-bye.